Lord, let this snake be conquered. Let this spirit be stopped in the name of Jesus. Lord God, I thank you right now. You promised, you prophesied that it would be shook off. God, I don't care how long it looks like it has been there. I prophesy it shall be. Holy Ghost told me years ago, he said, the results are not up to you. Just say what I say, and I'll move on the word that is spoken, and I'll do it. So I say what I hear in my ear. I preach it on the rooftop. I proclaim it. Hallelujah. Matthew 10, 27. This serpent shall be shook off. God, you do nothing in the earth except you reveal it to your servants, the prophets, same as 3, 7. And Lord, you reveal it, so I say it. My job is to say what you revealed. And I reveal, God, this serpent shall be shook off. There will be restoration. There will be reconciliation. There will be deliverance. There will be freedom. I call things that are not as though they were. Romans 4, 17. I declare they shall serve you together. I declare they shall up right before you together. I declare there will be harmony. I declare there will be healing. I declare there will be deliverance and freedom in the name of Jesus Christ. And I declare this enemy's power is broken. And I declare that this enemy soon, hallelujah, will be as you've said concerning Moses. You'll see it no more. Henceforth forevermore. In the name of Jesus. My Bible tells me in Mark 11, 23, if I believe in my mouth, I have whatever I say. Come on. Somebody say, death and life's in the power of the tongue. He that loveth it shall eat the fruit thereof, Proverbs 18 and 21. If you want to see a change, somebody shouts, you got to speak a change. You got to say a change. Hallelujah. And I say it, and I don't even know why I'm saying some of the things I say, except I just hear what I hear him saying to say. Can it be done? That's it, brother. Thank you. God said in Numbers 14 and 28, what you speak in my ears, what I'll do. Wow. Could God be waiting on you to say the right things before he does it? Thank you, Holy Ghost. Brother Shine, God's been doing a lot of things to orchestrate your restoration and what he began to do years ago. God's using a lot of things. Even it's been so wrong and been so hard. Psalm 71, 20, verse 21. And the Lord says, you've already been told this. But Psalm, and about what I just said, he's all this but Psalm 71 verse 20 and 21 David said these words he said you have showed me sore and great troubles but you shall quicken revive me again you shall bring me up again from the dust you shall comfort me on every side and increase me wow the God that says I have showed you these sore and great troubles. I will quicken. I will revive again. I will bring it up from the dust. It will live. There will not be a funeral of this. There will be life again where there's been death. I declare it in the name of Jesus. That word power of the tongue in Proverbs 18, 21, that word power means the hand. Somebody say the hand of the tongue. Look at your neighbor and do something in church that you was told not to do as a kid, but the prophet said to do it, so do it. Look at him go. That's your third hand. You think that's the only hand you got and that's the only hand you got? But Proverbs 18 and 21 said death and life's in the power. Somebody say the hand 
of the tongue. With your tongue, you reach up and grab what God's promised, or with your tongue, your tongue of hand, you reach up and bow your fist up and say, God, you can't do it by what you're saying. Amen. That's such an old school principle, but it needs to be renewed. Amen. Come on, somebody. You can pray right and speak wrong and stop everything God's wanting to do. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Lord, I agree with him right here. I hear the Holy Ghost saying it's not too late for me to even work now. God, I thank you right now in the mighty name of Jesus. You can work where no man's hand can work. You can do where no man's able to do. And Holy Ghost, I prophesy he shall see your hand soon. Do the very impossible. The thing that looks too big, that looks too hard. Breathe, Holy Ghost. I agree with him now. For with God, nothing shall be impossible. Luke 137, nothing, not a thing, not even this. In Jesus' mighty name, I agree, Lord. Amen. Praise God. Thank you for Brother Dave, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Brother Dave, what you have sown, you shall reap. You weren't just preaching to these, the Holy Ghost speaking through you, but to you. The reason that's in you is because it was birth. God said, I ain't forgot one thing you've did. You will reap, says the Lord, just don't faint. Your season's not. Hey, your season's not. Don't faint. Ephesians 6 and 8, that good thing you make happen toward those that you've sowed to it. God says, I'll make happen to you. Just don't faint. It's almost time to reap. He did it, and you will reap what you've said. These things you've sowed, you even forgot you sowed, but when you reap, you'll remember. He let a lot of us say, I let him ask a lot of us. Thank you, Jesus.